So I wanted to talk a little bit more in depth about the silicone wheels that I used on this B pendant. So I just finished up this pendant and I used some tools from Guess Wine to do it. So it's got all of these tight spaces that I really needed to get into to easily clean it up. And when you have super tight spaces like that, sometimes your average silicone wheels and tools that you typically use to clean things up with the rotary don't quite get all the way in there. So I picked up two sets of silicone wheels from Guess Wine, 145-1099, which is the coarser set of wheels. And then I also picked up 145 dash 1100 which is the slightly finer set and you can see that they come in a bunch of different shapes and sizes and that's what I really love about them so you start off with kind of your classic thicker wheel that's great for larger areas and then you move into a knife edge wheel which is awesome for getting up into corners and things um so like right here right at the at the joint of my jump ring to the back plate that's great for a knife edge wheel and then it also has two different sizes of little pointy ones so let me get those up there for you guys so these are what I used to get into all those nooks and crannies and those really, really tight areas. Um, so you can see that they kind of like, they really like get up in there in between all those bezels and stuff like that. And that's what I really needed for this piece so that the whole thing could be finished really nice and evenly. Um, and the nice thing about any silicone wheels, it's not specific to these ones, that you can reshape these. So if you have an old file, you can use that. Um, I like to use a separating disc or a Mizzy wheel. They're really, really coarse texturing wheels. Um, and you can grind these down and change the shape of them, which is awesome. So like this one... The slightly larger taper is really nice, but maybe it's a little bit thick down here. So I can take one of those wheels, shave it down, and then it can even better get into where I want it to. The thing, if you're doing that, if you're reshaping any sort of silicone wheel or just using them in general, please, please wear a mask. They're really bad for you. You don't want to breathe that stuff in. So just make sure to wear a mask. Um, all right, so now that I've given you a quick overview of them, I'm going to show you the texture that each one does. So this is my final sample bar of each one of the wheels and what they look like. Um, you can see that I labeled them just for easy, easy access. And as I kind of let the light hit this, you can see that starting at the blue, which is the most coarse, it's not really super shiny, doesn't really catch the light, but once I hit green, it's pretty reflective and shiny. So we've got the most coarse working our way up to the most fine.
And so with those wheels, the pointy ones, I could get into all these little nooks and crannies, clean up any solder that I might have had or anything like that and give the whole thing an even finish so that I could go in and add whatever texture that I might want to. Or if I wanted to keep it at a higher polish, I could do that. Not my favorite. So I went in and just added just like a slight brushed finish to it. But without these guys, I wouldn't have been able to get there and get it even, get that whole surface even so that when I applied the finish that I wanted to, that was even as well. So they were really good for getting into all those little tiny, tiny areas. And it can be really hard to find cleanup tools to get into those really small places. So that is why I love these guys because they're super tiny and perfect for what I needed. Thanks, Guess Wine.